Hello audio lovers, it's Sheila again, your friendly artificial intelligence or AI. I wish everyone is in good condition while watching this video. Today, I am going to show an all Filipino DIY audio EB or eyeball what they are doing. It's my time to uh, demo my uh, yeah. personal project. Two power up with 25 watts per channel output. Their activities, the ins and out and who are the people involved. I don't know about you, but you probably heard the burning amp in the USA. I am expecting this Filipino audio EB is similar, but to my surprise, it is not. It seems that the Filipino audio EB is much more fun, more relaxed, more engaging, and definitely one hell of an experience. Believe me guys, when I say that, so, audio lovers and DIY guys, watch this video till the end. Hong Kong, the city that never sleep. This is where Dandy work as an UFW or overseas Filipino worker, based in Hong Kong and often travel to the mainland China, especially in Shenzhen, the manufacturing hub of the world. We can see that he is quite busy arranging his things to catch his flight back to the Philippines. I learned that he will be joining the Manila Maker Fair as official media promoting Maker Fair. He is also doing the FW documentation procedure. And finally, guess what? He called out his DIY amplifier buddies, and there you go. He visited an audio aficionado in the Philippines in his house in Pasig City. I do believe that uh, there is no really ordinance that uh, when you're crossing the street and taking the video, you're not violating Philippine law. You have the technical know-how and... Uh, Meet Mr. Tony. Tony Texan. He is a popular audio figure in the Philippines and around the world with his playground on vacuum tube and solid-state audio amplifiers. His brand is Tubatech. He loved class a power amplifier and he built many vacuum tube class a amplifier. He is not so fond with class D or digital amplifiers. Hello. Hello. Meet Ralph Jeffrey. He is an audio hobbyist and fond of power amplifier with MOSFET output stage. He believe based on listening experience that MOSFET output stage is one of the cleanest ever. You can hear with details clarity on the music. He brought over his DIY made Vex power amplifier for other guys to see the magnificent build and sound quality. That one hell of an effort to carry for the EB. It's really amazing passion for the love of DIY amplifier. There is another guy came along with Ralph Jeffrey. Hello! Yeah. Well, let's get to know the four earth guy in the EB. Meet Ron Garcia. He is also an audio hobbyist and often called. Hey guys, uh, meet Ron. Hi. Hey guys, meet Ron. He's a master for audio. Ron was not able to bring his DIY made amplifier as the event is sudden and he lives far away from the place. It's a pity not to see his build, but I hope to see his DIY amplifier next time. The, this one, hey, soft start module. Okay. And uh, it's it's also functioning as a soft switch ah, for this yeah, one. Yeah, I, I, yes. Then here, uh, ah, I remember the temper I, I, temperature yeah. switch is oh. controlling the on off of this one. Hey guys, I can explain better in here in just one minute, but I will let Mr. Ralph Jeffrey to show us his masterpiece. Look at that! What a masterpiece! Listen to him, guys, as I feel the passion on him. Oops. Don't skip. Uh, originally, it's only on off, and hmm. uh, I noticed that uh, during uh, during playback, okay, sometimes the fan will suddenly cut in at full power, okay, and it's very noisy. So I jump word 100 ohm here. Mm -hmm. So it's always on. The power is going through the 100 ohm. Okay. But when it triggers at 30, 40 degrees. The fan will receive full power. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. So, uh, single transformer, separate power modules for power supply unit for the two boards. Yes, yeah. guys, just to inform you, this is my design. And I'm going to ask you if you can redesign this one so it will be symmetrical. Oh, okay. So one LED will be. Uh, will be here. Ah, okay. So That's what uh, I was no, asking you. Uh, mirror image. Mirror, <laughs> mirror, mirror, mirror image. image. No, yeah. I don't like to design. But <laughs> I would like, we will design, not me. Okay. <laughs> and uh, it, I would uh, also like to request that you give enough room for this one. 
because the room for the input that is the MKP capacity input capacitor right yes. okay I cannot fit this one on board ah, okay mm. so that's why yeah. you have to <laughs> fit it outboard <laughs> okay. and there's nothing special really but how the heat so, sink is mounted I I want to question about the heat sink is mounted because uh, where the power transistor are Oh, it's there at the bottom. Yes. The plate is a uh, L-profile aluminum. Mm -hmm. Then I mounted the heat sink on the aluminum profile. It's a customized one. It's a yes. co you did customize, right? May, may I, may I, good I, good I also I also would suggest that you color this black. <coughs> color black. Yeah. An anodized. Anodized or powder coat. Yeah. What about red? No, as it is dark in color. Oh, it's dark in not, color. Not yeah. White. Uh, That's awesome, isn't it? Do you know how much he had exerted to build this amplifier? Well, let me know on the comment below. This is a push-pull uh, tube power up with 25 watts per channel output using a PV vertical scanning tube, the 6LU8. The, this 6LU8 tube has a built-in uh, triode and a pentode in one envelope. Okay, wait, wait, wait. They are, they are lighting up right now? Yes. All right. It's uh, glowing slowly and... It's, they call it a fire inside the bottom. Oh, it's a fire inside the bottom. Yeah. So this amplifier is uh, inspired by the Muller 520 amplifier circuit of old. So we have, we have, a, we have an input tube and a long tail phase splitters. Uh, in the circuit. Which and one is the input tube, sir? Uh, this is the or input, small one. Yeah, the small one is the input tube. Mm, is it is it hot? Uh, yes, oh, it's yeah. hot. It's it warm can get now. as hot as two hundred degrees. Wow, that's uh, cooking the egg already. Yes. if you put it in there. <laughs> wow, it's really nice. It's a very different one from uh, what we have with the VHEX and uh, the R one hundred water. Yes, it's tube technology. Yes, it's a tube technology and. Um, Actually, there is a brand, uh, it's called uh, TubeTech. Um, this is a TubeTech 6LU8. You see, guys, okay, the fine. vacuum tube amplifier is a massive masterpiece. I wonder how long to make this vacuum tube amplifier taking into consideration the quality. Do you know the effort and how long to build it? Let me know on the comment below. All right, guys, it's my time to uh, demo my uh, personal project. It's been cracking here and uh, you know um, using fiberglass uh, there's some uh, issue on it uh, it's not really pretty cool uh, this is a class D amplifier with like uh, uh, 30 watt at 8 ohms right so this amplifier is called uh, the R100 watt and um, uh, technically speaking it's in the standby mode right now you see the uh, green LED over there it's uh, um, lighted up uh, but um, the LCD is off and you can see the power on it here so when I hit the power on off uh, then the LCD will go into light up uh, um, maybe you cannot see that one but uh, it says the power supply on and turn on the system power supply and goes into the active mode and uh, with the uh, volume control uh, going up uh, that is in minus dB so uh, the lower the number the uh, higher the volume so you can see the uh, uh, relays uh, and switch mode power supply is actually uh, turning on right now. I say this is the uh, hybrid uh, tone controls with uh, and we've got the uh, LED uh, of the uh, right channel is working on in here. There you are. All right. Let me turn off the volume and uh, this is the hybrid tone control uh, comprising the analog and digital um, section. And this is the class D uh, amplifier and this is switch mode power supply and that is the um, uh, AC control for controlling the 250 volts uh, AC so you can uh, put it into uh, standby mode and uh, you know deep sleep mode and uh, I cannot show you the uh, controller which is uh, just below the uh, tone control board it's over there why we have two power supply because the um, you know, you, you need to control the uh, controller over here with this uh, small power supply so that you can turn off everything in here. Just like uh, when we hit the uh, turn it turn off button, then uh, you can actually 
put all the circuit into a DB slick mode. Just like uh, that. Here it is. Uh, and uh, um, this uh, LCD is uh, programmed to turn off after uh, five minutes. So five minutes later, the LCD will turn off to conserve power. What an awesome demo of the DIY made amplifier, the VHEX MOSFET output, a vacuum tube amplifier and a class D power amplifier, all were made in the power of DIY. But one thing about YouTube policy that will make you disappointed, you will not hear the sound quality of these amplifiers, at least in this video, and I apologize for that. It is because of YouTube policy of music copyrights. To listen to the bets of the best sound quality, a quality music, a high fidelity music source is required and you need to play that into the possible highest resolution player like the CD player. But I can see that showing their own DIY build amplifier, a variety of classes amplifier makes them happy already. I mean man, look at that in their introductory, such a high, confident and boastfully demo it, yet in an elegant and passion manner. Salute to all Filipino DIY guys. What else? Filipinos are one of the most hospital person in the world. It's an evident. Look at that guy's awesome, isn't it? It's Mirinda time with all Filipino traditional food. I love that. That's another language. Can you recognize guys? It's Chinese Mandarin. Oh yeah. I almost forget the foreign ladies coming from Shenzhen, China who also joined the Manila Maker Fair. Welcome to the Philippines. It's more fun in the Philippines. Back to the EV. That was a wonderful gathering of DIY amplifier build. While listening to the sound of DIY amplifier build with snacks, they were discussing how they can leverage all the opportunity of being in a tag team. The discussion is centered on the how to support the Filipino DIY community, the supply of parts in affordable and fast way and teach fellow DIY who love audio. This uh, stock is only for the electronics for the amplifier component. That was fun. Absolutely. I cannot describe how awesome it is. You can see from beginning to the end that it was a real Filipino gathering with a plan to help and share the DIY audio adventure. Good luck to you guys. God bless. The next day, I found Dandy at the Manila Mini Maker Fair demonstrating his Class D amplifier and how to test digital amplifier using his innovative date project. I will show to you next about this project. Don't forget to watch the next video.